Hi guys, it's Quizum and Abamix, and we're playing Don't Die Dealers Dummy. Don't Die Dealers Dummy. Let's go. You gotta choose a name. What are we gonna be called? Why do I have to choose? Because you're playing. I'm not. I'm just no. sitting here in a no. chair. No, no. Listen, listen. What what we're gonna be called? No, yeah, this game doesn't seem to work with uh, most of the things, including the mouse, which is a bit crap. I love the censorship, by the way. Well, shit. Another summer wasted without doing anything worthwhile. How did I turn out to be such a loser? How did I graduate high school without having a single girlfriend? Alright, I spent my entire fucking adolescence sitting on my computer playing MMORPGs. That, that was me, guys. <laughs> this is what I did, and surfing the web all day long. College classes start tomorrow, so I better get my shit straight, or I'll wind up a 30-year-old kissless, hand-holdless virgin. And you know what they say, if you keep your virginity until the day you turn 30 years old, you become a wizard. So do, <laughs> so do I want to go around mercilessly scorching my unsuspecting foes with giant barrages of fireballs, or do I want to improve myself, be confident, and get with a nice girl? Screw magic. I want a girlfriend. What are we gonna do? Go to the bathroom. Why? I want you to do before bed? Yeah, before bed. We gotta go to the Use bathroom. Use the computer. Use the computer. Oh. I think that's game over. <laughs> Your temptation gets the best of you, and you feel if you log into an MMORPG that you wasted countless hours playing. What were you thinking? With the intent of only going on one last adventure with your e-friends, your addiction kicks in and suddenly you find yourself losing track of time. The sun rises, but what are you still doing playing? Don't you have a class to get to? On that day, you decide you'd rather stay in playing games all day instead of trying to make something of yourself. As a neat, your life progressively gets worse and worse as the years pass. Never even getting a chance to have a relationship, your 30th birthday approaches. Fuck, you're a wizard, Numkin. The end. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to go to the bathroom this time. You should save this time. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. You'll never know. We just saw you. No. <laughs> Which one? You just said we're going to the... Fine. You're on the way to drop the kids off at the pool. You notice your sexy self in the mirror and start flexing. Not satisfied with what you see, you drop down and do 20 push-ups. That's better. You become motivated to start hitting the gym. Gain one strength. Yay. But we did it. Tomorrow, my first day as a new man, I'm tired of being a loser. Tired of wasting my time in front of a computer playing games, watching my Chinese cartoons, and literally trying to be an indie game developer. Back when I was a kid, everything was so happy, but now everything is so sad. Time to do something different and stop moping around, expecting things to get better. Man, all this work just to get chicks? Now I think about it, don't girls have it a bit too easy? I mean, in order for a man to be desirable by a woman, he has to be fit, be rich, be confident, be funny, be outgoing, have ambitions, have friends, and have interesting hobbies. What does a woman have to do to be desirable by men? Not be fat. In fact, even then, I disagree. There are plenty of guys who like like bigger girls and shit. There's like a whole fucking like subgenre of pornography based around big girls and shit like that. You know what I mean? I guess. Hey? Yeah, I'm just saying. You know. If you're a female shut in, people reach out to you as, and you're thought of as cute and shy. But if you're a male shut in, you're basically fucked. I mean, I guess there's probably an element of truth to what he's saying. Not really. Don't you think so? No. I think. Oh no. Unless you're a specific type of nerdy girl, there's still this expectation of you. That's just an idealized version that he's thinking of. Just like, oh yeah, all girls are just automatically pretty. <laughs> I feel the person who wrote this definitely had a certain mindset. Yeah. <laughs> I need to stop thinking like this or I'll end up better. A bit of neckbeard posting misogynistic rants on internet message boards all day. <laughs> Is this self-projection? It's time to stop making excuses. Get out of my comfort zone and make the world mine. Now for some shut-eye. You wake up from that damn recurring nightmare of a bear chasing you and realize it's time to get ready for class. You have to can you get some breakfast. What do we have for breakfast, Bubby? Eggs and bacon and ham. I reckon this is going to kill us, but okay. I reckon we'll just get addicted to the taste and then put on 500 pounds in the space of five minutes. 
Hey, you have a nice meaty breakfast rich in protein. Hey, where are the pancakes? Oh! Bubby! You know about nutrition, Bubby, it's clear. Go ahead. You arrive at the college campus and head towards the building where your first class is being held. And the way you notice a girl perusing a map of the campus with a puzzled look on her face. Damn, she's cute. Looks like she's trying to figure out where her class is. Shall I go help her with this? Go help her when this other dude's right next to me is scratching his head looking at the map with an even more confused expression. She'll just think I'm trying to get in her pants. Wait a minute, is it exactly what I'm trying to do? You decide to talk to her. Hi, what building are you looking for? You may choose all. Do you know what, uh, sorry. Just read it. Do, do, do you know where it is? Good! Good! You gotta read it, Bubby! Yeah, I do. <laughs> Liar! What do you mean, yeah? You have no idea what the humanities hall is. You realise this and stand there awkwardly trying to come up with something to say. Uh, haha, <laughs> oh, sorry, never mind. I don't know where it is after all. Um, okay. I'll just keep looking. Thanks, anyway. She looks a bit annoyed at you as you run off to class. Whoops. You get to class and look for a place to sit down. Damn, that girl looks cute. Should I sit next to her? Fuck, stop thinking and just do it. The old man would have chickened out, but now's the time to take every opportunity as they come. Let's do this. You take a seat next to the girl. That was the easy part. What are my next moves? There's a couple minutes left before class starts. Should I talk to her now? But what the heck am I supposed to talk about? Do I introduce myself first, or would that seem weird? Do I casually ask some bullshit questions to break the ice? What if I say the wrong thing? Man, why do guys always have to initiate everything? Damn gender roles. Well, I guess we can sit here complaining getting nowhere, or I can just deal with it and man up. Um, here's why. Because not every girl wants to, you know, get fucked by you. So... Yeah. And the girls who want to fuck a guy will initiate with the guy as well, I'm sure. At least, at least more, more so these days, you know? I would assume so. You turn towards her and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Nomkin. I'm Leah, nice to meet you. Have you ever heard anything about this class? Is the professor hard? Oh, I'm not sure. Nobody I know has taken it. Hopefully it's not too bad. Glad I got her in time though, the campus map confused me. Me too. <laughs> this seems to be going smoothly. Oh baby, am I in there? We've had about three, we've exchanged a few sentences. What do you want to do next? Ask what her major is. Let's say first. I wanna, let's try and go for this girl, okay? She's being nice. Okay, even though we're fucking weird. Ask what her major I'm is. I'm going to. What's your major? Journalism. What about you? I'm undecided. I haven't really figured out what I'm interested in yet. That's okay. You still have a lot of time. Ha. Huh. Yeah. A few more students walk into the classroom. Leah glances towards them. Sorry, I'll be right back. I have to go check on something. Do we blow our chance? Okay. Leah leaves the room and comes back a minute later as the lecture starts. The hour passes by as you hardly contain your excitement for continuing the conversation. Though you did start dozing off listening to the Professor's droning voice and thus could not get a good feel as to whether or not he is hard. <laughs> That's an unusual way of phrasing that. I'd say strict. Yeah. It makes it sound like he's got a massive boner at the, <laughs> at the front of the class. <laughs> what do you think you should do to determine the Professor was hard? Uh, check the syllabus. That's a good idea. Take a look at the syllabus, and the most of the class grades is based off homework rather than exams. The professor shouldn't be too difficult after all. Class is almost over. Time to continue the conversation with Leah. Maybe I can ask her if she wants to have lunch with me. You sly dog. However, just as class ends, Leah immediately rushes out of the classroom before you get a chance to say anything. Guess she's in a hurry or something. You tough it out that the rest of the class is like a champ. College ain't so bad. So we've got to choose now. So, do we go home and study, go to the gym, or go looking for a club on campus to join? What would Leah do? <laughs> I don't know. Why don't we know? Why haven't we fucking stalked her, photographed her multiple times going into her house, come up with a daily plan of her schedule so we can accidentally show up when she's doing shit? Why haven't we done that? Why did I marry you? Because she loved me. Cause... Because I did that. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, you did that while in another country. While in another country, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, just popping over. Don't mind me. <laughs> the home is study. You haven't studied? Wait, who are you kidding? It's only your first day. What's there to study for? Oh, well, getting a head start won't hurt. Yay! The day draws to a close and you earn some well-deserved rest. Good job today. All that took was a bit of determination and courage, but you met two pretty girls. Hopefully you can not screw up like you usually do. 
You wake up another day and have time to come to... What are we going to eat? Let's go for avocado toast today. Yep. Sounds disgusting. You spread some avocado on the whole wheat bath. A good meal for a healthy brain. Ew. You get to class early, hoping to get a chance to talk to Leah again. She's here! We're here to talk to her every day for the whole quarter. Hey Leah, how's it going? Hi, Yumki. How'd you like your classes so far? They're okay. Fuck, what are we supposed to do after this small talk phase? Might as well keep it going. So, where are you from? The outskirts of town. I'm living with my sister now in an apartment near campus. Oh, are you close with her? Pretty close. I'd rather live with her than some stranger as a roommate. Do you have any siblings? I have a baby sister. I hope she doesn't miss me too much. She used to make me play dolls all day. And now she makes me do the voices over the phone. Aw, that's so sweet. Do one of the voices for me. Come on! Let's save. I think we should say fine. Okay. In a funny voice, Mrs. Tibbles, have you invited Tom Donkerson over for tea? I heard he loves meal with his biscuits. Wop, 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 wop. <laughs> That's so good. I can see why she loves you so much. I'm sure most brothers wouldn't do that for their little sisters. Leah glances towards the door as more students come in. Sorry. Oh, she stammered. Something's I'm wrong. I'm gonna move to a desk closer to the front. I can't see too well. She gets up quickly and moves seats. What the heck? That's twice that happened. Does she not want to be seen talking to me or what? Whatever, this time I'll chase her after class no matter what and ask her what the deal is. Leah runs off just as class- Wait, why am I reading it? This Leah is you. <laughs> Leah runs off after class just as you predicted. You follow her and catch her in the stairway. Leah, wait up! No key? This might be a strange thing to ask, but there is, is there something bothering you? I mean, you seem to be avoiding me when there are people in class. So I was wondering what was going on. Am I embarrassing you or something? No, not at all. I like talking to you. It's just... I have class now. Can we talk about it over lunch sometime? The both of you exchange phone numbers and she runs off again. Yes! We did it, Bubby. You enter it in your cell phone and you call her immediately. Yes, you have something other than mom in your contact list now. <laughs> you have some time to kill before lunch with Leah, so you're the library. What are we gonna do? I guess we should... I think we should be smart. Buy the textbooks for all the classes, highway robbery, might as well. Is that a thing people do? I guess universities have big libraries and shit, right? I never went to one, so I don't really know. <laughs> that was the most, like... I, I didn't go to a very impressive college. Okay. Hey, look, it's a girl from yesterday. Let's talk to her. Hey, did you find your class okay yesterday? I did, no thanks to you. Let's tell her off, fuck her. I'm not interested in her. Like, shut the fuck up, bitch. I was just trying to get laid. Chris was looking at me very disapprovingly after I said that line. <laughs> what's with this shitty attitude? I was trying to help you back there, but I guess it was good. I, good I didn't. Girls like you, what's wrong with this? Jesus Christ, I don't think I'm that far. <laughs> Fuck you and your family! I hope you flung out of this school and end up in the streets, you no good, dirty bitch. You take the book she's reading and throw it across the room! What the fuck is wrong with us? Oh, you, you died. I died. With a reputation as the crazy dude, Leah's too scared to talk to you again after hearing the stories about you. You're a grudge against women clothes, making you a bitter loser too far gone for saving anyone. And though you focus your rage against the ones at school and you get good grades and start promising you, you spend the nights regretting how you turned out. Before you know it, the dreaded 30th birthday comes and you're still dateless, hugless, handholdless, kissless virgin. You're a wizard, Donkin. <laughs> okay, that escalated quite dramatically though. Let's be real. Chris, I'm still looking at me judgingly. I'm sorry, I forgot to save. I'm sorry, you were pretty caught. <laughs> you were so pretty, I got caught off back guard there. The wrong words just slipped out of my mouth. She blushes. What is that? Saying such things? Well, I forgive you. I mean, I have to hear in that line, right? My name is Ellie, by the way. What's yours? It's not kid. Nice to meet you, Ellie. Got out of that one. Um, so what are you doing here? And what's your major? What's your major? Okay, fine. <laughs> Apology. I'm going pre-med, so I'm going to make this library my home. Gotcha. Sounds rough, though. I know, right? 
I've heard horror stories of students sabotaging each other to get an advantage. What they like what? Mm, like passing around false information about exams, stealing notes, telling people the class was cancelled, all sorts of stuff. That's crazy. Hopefully you won't be a victim, or maybe you're considering doing something like that? Hey! Just kidding. What about you? I haven't seen many people come around here so far. What are you doing? Just need to copy the homework questions from my class so I don't have to buy the textbook. Ooh, nice move. I spent a ton buying all the textbooks for my classes. By the way, what are some fun things to do around here? I've been wanting to try out new things lately. Oh, no. I can't think of anything right weird. now, sorry. What the fuck? I see. Well, I'm gonna find my book now. It's a nice chat with you. Maybe we can do it more sometime. Sure, I'd love to. See you later. You finish your business in the library and head outside. Leah gives you a call and tells you she can't make lunch. She apologizes and proposes meeting for breakfast tomorrow instead. What the- is this girl playing me for a fool or something? You see an old friend from years back standing near the parking lot. We can go talk to him, go home and study. I think we should just keep studying. I think- I think Leah will like that. Maybe go to the gym. But we'll get strength then. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Balance it out, you mean. Yeah. Getting swole, oh yeah! You hit the line for a couple of hours and head home to your routine hot bath. This is the life. Okay. So far, so good. Hope I can straighten things out with Leah during breakfast tomorrow. Maybe afterwards, I'll drop by the library and see if Ellie is there. When you wake up, you head to the local diner to meet up with Leah. I hope she shows up. There she is. No, King. Good morning. Good morning. I haven't been here before, have you? Nope. Um. Anyway, thanks for meeting me. I know I've been acting weird around you in class, so let me explain. I used to be close friends with this girl, Stacy. She's in her class. Well, in high school, the boy she had a crush on kept flirting with me, and I guess she got jealous. Her whole attitude changed. She started getting really nasty and would spread rumors about me being some sort of loose girl, you know? Even though I've never had a boyfriend. My last year of high school were so lonely, especially since most of my other friends started avoiding me. She was popular back then, so everyone sided with her. I was looking forward to college so much, I thought I could start anew and leave those bad memories behind. But Stacy, she's attending the university as well. I really enjoyed talking with you and hoped we could be friends, but I saw her walk in the classroom and I panicked. I was afraid she would get to you too. I'm sorry. Um, I'd like to be your friend too. Safe. <laughs> She's be like, what the fuck, weirdo? I'd like to be your friend too. You put an arm around her and kiss her fully on the lips. Oh she thinks you're a weirdo. God. You become a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have many friends in high school either, so I, won't, I was happy to have met you. Someone so nice and pretty. Just count on me. I won't let the girl bother you anymore. Thank you, Noki. Hope you can become good friends from now on. Two of you chat and eat. Leah needs to get to her next class. So you decide to go to the library and see if Ellie is there. Fuck you. What do you mean, fuck you? Well, you know, he's putting the moves on two girls. I know he's not dating either of them. But still. Boo! Ah! Ha oh, got you. Jeez, am I so predictable that you know where to find me so easily? No. Yes. 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 Save. No. Save. Of course, you're always here. Hmm. Well, that might be a little true. Smooth. I know, I know this shit, Bubba. <laughs> yes, because you were so smooth with me. Otherwise, it was like, are you a lesbian? And she was like, yes. And I was like, I don't know, I don't know. That's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> but that is what I first said. No, you didn't. Well, what was the first thing I said to you then? The first time we talked to each other, like one on one, like not in the group. Uh, I we were the people in the group were discussing like being open, and I basically just said, well, my philosophy about it is that I don't think that coming out should be that big of a deal. And if you're open about it, it should just be... You shouldn't... Basically, the TDLR version was... Tilda. People find out when you show them your girlfriend or you talk about your girlfriend, not... Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm gay. Yeah. And you respected that, and you messaged me. Or you pretended to respect it, at the very <laughs> least. <laughs> and you said it's really nice to see other lesbians, like, not make such a big deal out of it. And be open. And then I went, ah! I'm speaking of my head! 
I didn't actually say that to her. I played it cool. <laughs> but you were thinking it. <laughs> but I was thinking That's it. That's boosts my ego quite a lot, guys. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> and then we ended up talking all day, pretty much. And then... We talked a lot more. Yeah, then there was a space of time where we didn't talk, and then you randomly added me a call with one of your friends, who I thought you were dating, but you weren't. She was just a little bit crazy. <laughs> And, um, uh, yeah. And then we ended up talking more one on one. It's pretty normal. Mm. I love you. I love you too. Have a kiss? No, you're too far away. <laughs> you're I'm still, moving. You're still too I'm far moving. away. I'm <laughs> moving! Anyway, so what'd you do for fun then? Like I said, I have to focus on my studies. You can't just study all the time though. But I've been there. Been, huh? I've been like this since high school. My parents have always pressured me to study. Study, study. It's become my lifestyle. We're in college now. I was like you in two in high school, always staying at home, not going out with friends or doing anything worthwhile. But I'm making an effort to go and try everything and actually experience life. Don't you want you to do the same? I'm not sure where to start, though. Let's try it together. Tell you what, the ferry's in town for a couple of days. Let's go there tomorrow after classes. Does that sound good? Okay, uh, I'll go. Nice, I have to go now, but I'll see you there. See you later. We're pretty smooth for someone who's a fucking loser. Holy shit, did a girl just agree to go out with me? Is this a date? Is this my golden ticket out of the FA life? And being... What the fuck is FA? And being seen as a scum in the eyes of society? I can't wait till tomorrow. God, we're a shitty dude. Yeah, the next morning, your only class is chemistry club lab. Only a couple of minutes left and I'm out of here. I don't care about chemistry. General ed requirements. After class, you step out in the hallway and you hear voices coming from the women's bath. Oh shit, I think things are going to get real with mm. the bullying girl, yeah? Yeah. Is bullying thi a thing in college? I never experienced it. Everyone... But then again, I wasn't really in any... Dorm, maybe? Clicks? I wasn't in any dorms or anything. I never went um, to college, so I couldn't tell you. Like, most like, of the people I went to college with, either I didn't really talk to them other so than a few times. These people are like age 18, right? That would make them if they just got 18, 19? I guess. I mean, I didn't go to college until I was about 20. Mm -hmm. Um, no, not 20. I was 19. Um. But still. Because I missed the time to go in when I was 18. Um. Uh, it could also help that I didn't go to, like, a specifically, like, a famous college or anything. Like, you know, it yeah, was, yeah. it was kind of a meh. Oh, well, let's, see what, let's, let's see what happens, but I, I, I wouldn't think, from what, from what I've heard from other people, I don't think it's as much of a problem as in high school, for example. Yeah, I guess I, I would imagine it more if it was like a, a, a snooty college with mm -hmm. like dorms and frat houses and yeah. stuff like that. After class, you step out into the hallway and hear voices coming from the women's bathroom. Up to your old tricks again! Oh, you see you, yeah, she be her as well. Up to your old tricks again, how you floozy, I knew it. It's not like that. What? Fuck. Bitch. Oh. Wait a minute, I recognize that voice. It's Leah. Save Leah. Yep. Yeah. You barge into the bathroom. This is not the bigger desk idea. What the heck are you doing in here? I don't know who you are, but quit harassing already. Stop being an immature, vindictive whore and leave her alone. You're mad because you'll never be as beautiful or kind hearted as Leah, you disgusting roasty. What the fuck is a roasty? I don't know. Who do you think you are, punk? Let's get out of here, Leah. You and Leah run off campus to a nearby park. I'm sure I got you involved with this no can. I wanted to fend her off of myself back there, but all those bad memories just came back, and I... She has no business treating you like that. Next time I'll know how I'll be able to handle it. I'll just stab it. her. <laughs> right, this is our chance here, I feel. <laughs> um... Of course you will, I believe in you. I think that's the nicer thing to say. Yeah. Mind you, this guy's a cunt, so I don't know. No, okay, thank you. I feel so much more at ease with you. <laughs> the two of you talk until sunset and decide to head back before it gets dark. Suddenly, some dude appears in front of you. It's CHAD, all caps. Stacey's latest fling. How do you know that? Well, well, well! Here's the punk! What do you want? Hey, big man! I heard you did to my girl in the bathroom! I'm gonna make you regret that, you beta cuck orbiter! Okay, what should we go for here? I really don't know what to do here. We got fuck off, dickhead, or I didn't do anything. Try 
I fuck off, dickhead? See where that goes off. What was that? Who do you think you are? Tough guy to see what you have to say or I'm done with you. Good old child looks pretty pissed. He starts walking towards you. Looks like this dude won't go down without a fight. Fight. Come at me, bro. <laughs> you try and dodge his ponces when able to. It doesn't matter though, since you take it like a champ and counter with your own swing. He goes down. The dude has a glass jaw. Who'd have thought? Leah is visibly shaken by the ordeal, so you take her home. Thank you for taking me home, Nalkeen. No, Would you like to come in? Sure. <laughs> you should have saved! It's okay, don't worry. This is where she turns out she's some succubus and she's gonna drain our youth through her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. I think I'd be a great way to end the video if that's true. Actually. I'd end the video though, if that's the case. <laughs> no one has ever stood up for me like that before. You're the nicest guy I've ever met, Nomkin. Nomkin. I love that we spent time together. It's been two days! <laughs> and even though I haven't known you very long, I feel like I could trust and depend on you. Lately, when I'm around you, I feel my heart. It's been two days! Doesn't matter. No, King! Will you be my fire runner? It's been two days! Wait, also, why are you talking like you're from like a fucking like 19. like, like, a, like an 1850s romance novel? Will you be by my side from now on? Forever! Congratulations, you've won Leah's heart. Achievement unlocked, Chad. I didn't even know she had long hair. I thought it was a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> with your help, Leah becomes a stronger, more confident person and lists sign up for herself against Stacy. You settle the score with Chad, who eventually whitens up to Stacy's true nature. You and Leah live happily ever after, and most importantly, you don't become a level 30 wizard. <laughs> the end. <laughs> that music! I know that I knew that music, I could have listened to it. That's great. <laughs> anyway. Do you wanna do the um the other ones? Nah, nah, this has been half an hour. I think that's good for a video. It's been half an hour? Yeah, we've been doing this for half an hour. <laughs> I thought it was just 10 minutes, but it's not. It was way longer. But still, I quite liked it. I mean, it was for a little dumb little dating simulator. It was all right. What did you think? I thought it was okay, except for a scumbag. Yeah, I mean, I can't say it's like totally remarkable. I'm gonna give it an eh. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eh. Uh. Say it like that. No. Please, for me. Uh, uh, uh. No, that's you choking on my dick. No, no, that's not how you do it. Go on, go on. That's a Japanese air. Eh? <laughs> Ear! That's the grudge girl saying she didn't really like the game. Shut up! Stop it! It's exactly did on though. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Anyway, guys, uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, a comment, let us know what you thought please of the game. Please share it! If you ever know any, like, older, sort of, like, silly little games like this that we had never covered before, please recommend them too. We're welcome to, we're, we're happy to go back and look at some older games that people, you know, would be, like, for one-shots and that kind of stuff. We really appreciate it. You can support us on GameWist, GameWist.com slash Minx. It's like Patreon. Check it out. Private playthrough of Doki Doki Literature Club this month is a private playthrough. By the time you see this, there'll probably be some parts of that up as well, so go check that out. Link in the description. Um, what else can I do, Bubba? Gameless. I just did that. No. Twitch. Twitch. <laughs> Chris is always like, you need to streamline this. <laughs> That's because I have it in my head and then you do something different. Twitch.tv slash Crickshow, watch us live there. Five days a week at least. Give us a follow so you don't miss a single live show. And then finally... Share the video. I said that already. Well, share it again. <laughs> if you've shared it once, alright. Share it again. Today. Save, the, save it to Twitter. Share it to Facebook instead. <laughs> Go into your siblings' room and be like, you should watch this. Unless they're like under the age of 18, because this game's quite mature. It wasn't that mature. Okay, bye! Bye! <laughs>